Hello and welcome to Live Mint. This is Ami and you're watching the closing bell. Uh, let us run through the developments in the market today. Indian shares snapped a three-day losing streak and closed in the positive territory on Friday, tracking the gains in world equities and a soothing inflation really helped investor sentiment. We had wholesale price index inflation for May, which came in at 4.7%, uh, down from 4.9% a month ago, which, which, which led to indications that RBI still has some leeway to cut interest rates from here on. However, RBI's chances of cutting interest rates are curbed, uh, curbed due to the recent steep depreciation of, uh, of uh, rupee and uh, it remains to be seen if RBI really cuts interest rates as policy review on Monday. Um, in today's trade, we had uh, uh, rate sensitive stocks which had led the decline of late, actually led the gains in today's trade. We had BSE's Bank X which gained 1.9% and BSE's Auto and Realty Index gained 3% and 2.9% respectively. Um, uh, FIIs actually have poured in $14.9 billion in Indian equities for the year to date. However, their, their interest has been tapering off late and they have actually, they're, they're, there are actually outflows in June from their end uh, for more than $900 million in Indian equities. Um, uh, in other stock specific action today, we had Reliance Industries, uh, which firmed 3.2% after its KGD6 block partner, Canada based Nikor Resources, said, said they approved reserves actually jumped 160% as well as a recent, uh, recently announced gas discovery in the D6 block would, act, would significantly boost the company's reserves. Amongst bad news, we had MMTC, which declined for the second day in a row by its daily limit of nearly 10% and tumbled to its lowest in nearly six years after the company fixed a very uh, low, uh, low floor price for its offer for sale that concluded yesterday. At the same time, we had NSE's WIX in, uh, or volatility index, which actually fell by 5.6%, indicating that we may not see volatile times in the coming week. Well, but for now, it's all wait and watch as to what RBI does really on Monday. And uh, let's see if really there is indeed a rate cut as some of the analysts do expect. Uh, do log on to Live Mint for more updates. That's it in the closing bell for now. Thank you.